Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another repair video on the channel and today we have an iPhone 8 Plus product red with an LCD problem that I just received from my colleague and he says that there is a problem with the screen but the phone is turning on because he can feel uh, the Taptic engine working on the Touch ID. So now we are going to check if what it says is right because I didn't check by just uh, connecting the original screen and turning the phone on to see what the result we have on the screen. And as you can see, there's a lot of lines uh, on the screen, but we have a backlight, we have an LCD, but still we have a problem in the LCD itself. Uh, my guess that the, it is the uh, chestnut IC or something to do with lines of the chestnut IC. For those who don't know what is the chestnut IC is, uh, it is the LCD uh, display power IC for all the iPhones. And uh, just to make sure uh, that the problem is not in the screen itself, we are going to connect another working original screen to see if everything is okay. Or we have the same result. So let's go and check. Here we go. Okay, alrighty. And as you can see, we have the same result. So now uh, we know that the problem is in the board. So our first diagnostic will be uh, without removing the board is just check all the lines on the LCD connector by measuring on the diet mode. And if we uh, found our problem or a short on the LCD connector, that, uh, that is where we are going to start. And now we are, we are not going to remove uh, the board, but we are going to go under the microscope without removing the board and measuring all uh, the lines on the LCD connector. And I hope that it will be an easy fix. So, let's go. Okay, now we are under the microscope and as you can see, I got a new uh, camera microscope, microscope camera for my microscope. Uh, it is a Chinese, uh, I don't know what it's called, but uh, it, it is capable to record a 4K, uh, 30 frames per second, but our main I record today is uh, 2080 626 frames per second, but it's still not not good as uh, as the Amscope that I got. But anyway, it's good. It's sharper a little bit, and it's capable to record a very high frames per second and also a high resolution. But anyway, let's focus on the LCD connector. As you can see, uh, everything looks fine. Not uh, not. The, uh, the connector it's not damaged at all now let's turn on the multimeter I'm going to put it on the screen there we go and now let's go and turn on the multimeter and measure in dive mode let's begin with the first line the first line is mamba to display which has an ol i guess there's nothing on the multimeter which is okay the second one goes to the i2c eprom sda which is okay this the third one is also something to touch uh touch to mamba which is a very big value and let's measure the fourth the fifth okay sixth okay seventh everything looks okay for now <coughs> okay Okay. Okay. P P P one. P P one V eight. Everything looks fine. And as you can see, the uh, P P five B seven Mason A V D D H connector, which goes to an F L, which is F L five seven fifteen, to the other side of the port, and goes to the chestnut I C. And as I said before, it is a chestnut IC problem, that's my guess, and my guess was right. And now we are going to remove the board and see what is happening from the other side of the board and uh, check if everything is okay or not. And probably, probably we are going to uh, change the uh, chestnut IC, which is the U5600 uh, on the iPhone 8. So, let's go! Okay, now we remove the board and as you can see this is the other side of the board, I remove the anti-heat stickers, let's zoom in a little bit, but first let's check if the line 
is shorted as we guessed or as we measured and I'm not going to show you the uh, multimeter but you can hear the sound and as you can see it is shorted and now we are, go uh, we are going to try to remove the biggest capacitor and see if uh, the short is in the capacitor or not if it's not we are going to remove the IC Okay, now that our work is done, we are going to test our work by connecting the original screen and the battery. Here we go, hold the power button. And as you can see, the perfectly awesome up, uh, glowing Apple logo on the screen with no lines on the screen. Perfectly working display, no, no problems at all perfect repair and uh, we removed the U5600 we changed the U5600 and the problem solved easy peasy repair let me just put the password to check the sensor and the backlight I guess we will not have any problems with that because our main problem was the uh, chestnut IC and as you can see the sensor is working with no problems the backlight up and downs no problems so yeah easy peasy repair and that's it i guess uh yeah thanks for watching if the video was helpful please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future and as always stay safe and have a good day